Welcome to the City Palace, Jaipur. In this edition of Museums Without Borders, I'll share some of the photographic treasures of the Maharaja Savai Man Singh II Museum in conversation with photographs from the MAP collection. We're going to look at three pairs of portraits between Jaipur and MAP of three 19th century rulers from what is now Rajasthan in northwestern India. One set of images is held at MAP and was made by the hugely successful commercial firm of Born and Shepherd, which was particularly active in the 1860s and 1870s. The other set is held here at the city palace, Jaipur, and is unique for having been made by the Maharaja of Jaipur himself, Savai Ram Singh II, probably with the help of assistants. The differences between the MAP and Jaipur collections present the formal versus the more personal side of these three people, an intimacy that was made possible because Maharaja Savai Ram Singh knew his sitters personally. We also learn about photographic technology and practice. You'll notice that you can see the jagged edges of the photographic emulsion in the Ram Singh images because we've reproduced them from the negatives without cropping them. Whereas the Born and Shepherd images are finished photographic prints made to be framed or displayed. The politics and historical context of these rulers' lives are also on display too. For example, in the Born and Shepherd portrait, Savai Ram Singh is shown wearing the KSI medal. This was the Knight of the Order of the Star of India, instituted in 1861 in the aftermath of the uprising of 1857, which reminds us of the rapidly changing times in which he lived, in which he had to negotiate Jaipur's place in a new British imperial world. Looking closely at images can reveal many clues about the past. And we discover new stories every time we do. Savai Ram Singh ruled from 1834, the year of his birth, till 1880. We're a little unclear about when he took up photography. There's one suggestion that he met a photographer named T. Murray, probably in Shimla, and that this person later came to Jaipur as the court photographer, and that this is how Savai Ram Singh learned. There is a possibility that someone else called Eugene Impey was involved, who was the political agent in Jodhpur and a good photographer. Impey nominated the Maharaja to membership of the Bengal Photographic Society. We also know from the travel accounts of an artist and photographer named Louis Rousselet that the Maharaja was a skillful practitioner by 1866 because Rousselet wrote about the long conversation they had on the subject. A guide to Jaipur, published about 10 years later in 1876 and written in English by Thomas Holbein Hendley, also tells us that the Maharaja's photography rooms were above his drawing room, in what is still the private residential area of the palace, which you can see behind me. And this suggests that he liked to have his studio close by for regular access. And finally, we know from his diary, which is also on display in the painting and photography gallery, that he was a regular and knowledgeable photographer. Maharaja Jaswan Singh II of Jodhpur ruled from 1873 to 1895. The Born and Shepherd image shows him standing in full, imperious splendor, holding his sword. Samai Ram Singh's version is charming and intimate, showing him with his pet dog at his feet, who obviously had trouble sitting still, which is why that portion of the image is blurred. The informality of this image is almost certainly because Jodhpur and Jaipur were related by marriage. Savai Ram Singh was married to one of Jaswant Singh's sisters. Unfortunately, we don't know her name, as often happens, making it challenging to remember women in history. Jaswant Singh also connects us to the third pair of portraits of Maharana Sajjan Singh of Udaipur. He was the youngest of the three rulers we're discussing today and sadly had the shortest reign from 1874 to 1884. He too was married to a Jodhpur princess, making the three rulers brothers-in-law. The Born and Shepherd image shows him as a young man, shortly after his accession, posed with the standard studio props. The Savai Ram Singh image of him, on the other hand, shows him much more comfortably and cosily dressed. His velvet robe suggests that it is winter, and in fact, that is when this image was made. The Maharana stopped in Jaipur on his way back from the Imperial Assemblage of 1877 in Delhi, a gathering that Savai Ram Singh, known as the Engineer Prince, also attended and is thought to have arranged the lighting for. 
Photographic collections can seem repetitive. What is the difference between one institution's image of Savai Ram Singh II and another's? Their value lies in the details. Who is the sitter, the photographer, the collector? What was the context in which an image was made and in which it circulated? These are some of the points we compared between the Jaipur and MAP collections. Multiple images of a sitter also function as variations on a theme. Together, they reveal more about an individual than a single image can.